So we've logged something. What happens if we want to log two somethings, right? So we can say console.log. Oh, we don't need parentheses. We're not in JavaScript. So we can just say hello world. And then underneath that, I'm just going to yank it and paste it. I'm using the Vim inside of VS Code uh, extension. Not great at it yet, but it's a lot of fun to try. Uh, if you like keyboard shortcuts, I'd recommend you check that out. Anyways, back to the coffee script. Console.log, hello world. I'm also going to say hello coffee. And of course, these are going to run in order, right? It's just like any other language. They're going to run down the page. You'll first see hello world, then you'll see hello coffee. So if I run it down here, hello world, hello coffee. Perfect. All right, back to the top. Now we're going to talk about some variables. So in JavaScript, you would see something like this const my, or let's say const if it's a number, my num equals five, like that. And if it's a string, maybe you'd see like a const my string equals I am here. And so in JavaScript, you need to use const let or var. Var is kind of old and outdated. Only recommend using const or let if you're using JavaScript. In CoffeeScript, it's a, more like if you've ever used Python, you don't need to put const or let out front. These are not necessary. You can simply, let's do this, delete that, delete that. And you can just say my num equals five, don't need that. My string equals I am here. And we can check and make sure those work. We can say, console.log and I'm just gonna go up here and yank this again come down here paste it twice and we can say console.log and instead of all this we're gonna say my num and underneath it instead of all this we're gonna say my string save that let's go ahead and delete these first two lines perfect delete that one save and so now we are declaring my num to five, my string to I am here, and we're logging both my num and my string. Notice again, we don't need these parentheses anymore because it's coffee script, which is awesome. It's just, it's so clean. It's, it's very good. So let's go down to the bottom. Let's run this. And you can see we've printed five and I am here. Perfect. Next thing we want to talk about are functions. So let's delete this and we're going to write a main function and we're going to put everything inside of that main function. So I, in JavaScript, you know, you're used to writing function, my func, and then you put whatever you want inside of that. Or if you're using the ES6 arrow functions, you might say something like const my func equals empty parentheses this, and then you put whatever you want inside of your brackets. If you're using CoffeeScript, you don't need any of that, and you don't use const or let at the beginning, you don't use function at the beginning. In our case, we're just gonna call our function main, and we'll say main, or what we were using before, my func, and we're gonna say main equals, and then if we don't have any arguments, we can just do this. And we're gonna say main should print, hello, coffee, I am here to drink you, like that. So this is how we can declare a function in CoffeeScript. I think it might work with a fat arrow too. I'm not sure, we'll try that in a minute. So let's go down here, we'll call the main function. So we've declared it, we, we gave our function a name. There's no argument, so nothing goes here. We have our little arrow here. Notice it's not the double equals, it's just this. And we have what we want it to return. Now if I run this like it is, it's gonna return nothing and we're not gonna see anything. It'll return this, but we're not printing it. So for example, if I run it here, you see nothing printed. So in order to print this, we would say console.log main. And so console.log, we're logging main. In JavaScript, you'd have to wrap this in, again, in parentheses like this. But we're using CoffeeScript, so we don't have to do that. We do, however, have to have parentheses at the backside of main because we're calling main as an expression. We need that. So we can do this. We'll run it here. And we get, yep, hello coffee, I'm here to drink you. So main returns this and it runs here. Now if you're used to fat arrow functions in ES6, you'll know that you can say something like this, this is, this is valid. If I do this, this will work in ES6 and that's because th this is an automatic return. Uh, a lot of times if you have to use brackets, you have to say return and then put the thing in here, string or whatever, whatever it is. Um, if you're not using brackets in ES6, you can do it this way. But TypeScript makes that even a little more clear and a little more functional, and you can just do it this way. Uh, let's see if it works with the fat arrow. I'm curious. I think not, but let's let's just see. 
It does. Excellent. So you can use a fat arrow here if you're used to that, or if you'd like, you can also use the CoffeeScript way, which is just this. So again, save it, rerun it, boom.